Hey guys, and welcome to Slow and Gentle Release. The fact that you're here probably means that you're experiencing a bit of lower back pain, so make sure you're really gentle with yourself in this practice. We will be using a block today. If you don't have a block, then grab yourself a big pillow and maybe also a small pillow, a couple different sizes. And when you're ready, come down to sit on your mat and let's start. So come to sit on your bum. Bring your feet a little bit further away from your bum, feet flat on the mat. And just take your fleshy parts from underneath your sit bones with your hands. So we can really ground down. Now start to hug your thighs, grabbing hold of opposite elbows. And gently pull your thighs closer towards your belly. And then fold your head down. And just bring your awareness to your breath. Allowing the breath to be deep and natural. And just noticing with every inhale the expansion you're feeling in the lower back. The deeper you breathe, the more you will feel this expansion. And with every exhale breath, just try to relax the body. Just building a connection between you and your breath. Becoming aware of how you're feeling, how you're feeling physically. Are you feeling any sensations in the lower back as you sit here? How are you feeling mentally? Is your mind feeling very calm? Or are you being bombarded by thoughts? And how are you feeling emotionally? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you frustrated? Are you content? Without any judgment, just noticing how you feel right now. Slowly, slowly, release the arms. Press the hands down into the mat to lift your upper body up. And slowly bring the soles of your feet together. So again, keep a fair distance between your heels and your groin. Coming into here will target more the inner thighs, and we don't really want to do that with this class. So keep your feet away. And what this is going to do is to target, it's going to help target the back extensors, muscles that run along the backside of the body. So when you're ready, slowly start to round your body forwards and relax your head down. Your arms can be wherever you wish. If it feels uncomfortable for your head to be hanging, you can always grab your block or your pillow, whatever you have with you, and just rest your forehead on your prop. Just feeling the length down the lower back. The back extensor muscles are very important in activities such as, such as lifting things and also keeping a proper posture. We need engagement in the back extensors. So if this feels quite sore to you or quite tight, it could be due to lifting things with improper form or technique. It might be due to long periods of sitting down with a poor posture. could be many, many other reasons, but those would be the two main ones for everyday people. And if it does feel tight and a little bit uncomfortable, just try to breathe into it. And with every exhale, just think about the body softening a little bit more. Just five more deep breaths.
Just noticing the expansion of the lower back with every inhale. Filling up the belly. And simply just relaxing to let the air out. Slowly, slowly, walking your hands back towards you, sitting up straight. From here, extend your right leg long in front of you, and bring your left foot to the inside of the right thigh. And just know that if you do feel a little bit tender right now, a little bit delicate, that's totally fine. It's part of the process. Just be gentle. Placing your right hand on the inside of the right leg. If you do have the flexibility, feel free to place the forearm down. But it's totally up to you and what's available to you. And now start to rotate your upper body to the left. Gently pulling the left shoulder back. Opening up the chest. Grounding down with the left hip. Keep the left hip down onto the mat. Start to reach the left arm up towards the sky. Finding a length in the lower left side of your back. We're really targeting the QL here, the quadratus lumborum. And this is a muscle that is very commonly responsible for lower back pain. These are deepest abdominal muscles. And they tend to get shortened and tight if we spend lots of time sitting. So all we're doing now is creating, creating length through these muscles bringing a bit of release as we breathe. So you can keep your left arm up towards the sky, or you can start to reach it overhead. If you are reaching it overhead, make sure you don't roll the left shoulder down. Keep the side of your body open. Just five deep breaths here. Keep reaching through the left arm. Not too intensely, but just finding length. And now slowly lifting up through the torso. Start to rotate your upper body to the right now. Keep the legs as they are. And imagine you're reaching your left hand towards your right, the outside of your right foot. If you can grab the foot, congratulations, it really doesn't matter. If you can't, just rest your hand on the outside of the shin or even the thigh. And just gently fold yourself forwards. Really focusing on keeping length in the left side of your lower back. Returning to your breath. And breathing deep into the belly to help expand the lower back as you breathe in. And every exhale, just try to soften. Try to release. Consciously becoming a part of this process of self-healing. Just five more deep breaths here. There's no rush. Breathe slowly and deeply. Relax as much as you can into the pose. And slowly bringing the torso back up. Extend the left leg along now, coming to the other side. 
bring the right sole of the foot to the inside of the left thigh. And once again, just removing the flesh from underneath the sit bones. Now from here, you can place the left hand down on the inside of the leg. You can place the forearm down on the side of the left leg. Whatever's available to you. And now rotate the upper body to the right. Gently pull the right shoulder back. And start to reach the right arm up to the sky. Keep grounding down with the right hip. You can keep your arm up overhead. Or you can slowly reach it overhead. As if you're reaching towards the left toes. Just make sure you're not rolling the shoulder down. You're keeping the side body open. You're lengthening from the right hip all the way to the right armpit. Just five more deep breaths. And slowly, slowly bringing the torso back up. Rotating the upper body to the left now. And reaching the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Remember if it doesn't reach, don't worry. Just grab the leg and slowly fold down. Keeping the right hip grounded. Breathing deep into the belly here. And with every exhale, just relaxing into the pose. Releasing any effort in the body. Try to be okay with the discomfort you're feeling. Obviously, if it's excruciating, then back off. But if it's just a broad, mild discomfort, just try to breathe into it rather than fighting it and gripping. Try to relax and soften and just breathe into the sensations that you're feeling. You'll notice with each exhale, you'll be able to relax a little bit more. Once you accept what's going on. Slowly, slowly. Coming back up to center. From here, we're going to come into extended child's pose. So take your knees nice and wide. Bring your big toes to touch. Slowly start to sink your hips down between the heels. If this is uncomfortable, again, feel free to sit on a pillow so there's no pain in the knees. And slowly start to walk your hands forwards, resting the forehead down. Breathing deep. Sinking your hips back. Gently reaching your arms forwards, creating length in the spine. But more importantly, creating length in the lower back, in the back extensors. And the muscles in our body that are responsible for extending our spine. Slowly start to walk your hands over to the right. Keep your left hip grounding down. Reach through the left arm. Take a deep breath in. And slowly exhale to center. 
Slowly walk your hands over to the left now. Keep grounding down through the right hip. Keep reaching through the right arm, creating length in the right side of your body. Take a deep breath in and exhale to slowly come back to center. Prop yourself up to all fours. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. We're just going to take some very gentle cat cows. So as you inhale, point the hips high, take the gaze up. And as you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, dome the upper back and tuck the chin in. Inhale into your cow, hips up, belly sinks down, shoulders open. Exhale, gently push away from the mat, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly in. Inhale, hips point high, gaze comes high with you. And exhale, tuck the tailbone, dome the upper back. Just two more on your own. Maybe even closing down the eyes. Noticing how this feels for your lower spine. With the different tilts of the pelvis. Is there one movement that might hurt a bit more than the other? Making sure you stay gentle doing that movement if it does. And slowly coming back to center after your next exhale. From here, bring your hands forwards a few inches and step your right foot between your hands. A nice big step. Bring your hands to your hips and just gently start to guide your hips down and forwards. So now we're going to create length in the hip flexor muscles, the fronts of the hips. These are muscles that are pretty much always shortened in people with office jobs if they're not looking after themselves. Because when you think about it, if you're sitting in a chair all day, the muscles at the front of the hips are constantly being shortened by the way you're sitting. So to actually bring ourselves into this position where we're lengthening the front of the left hip right now, can be quite unusual if we never do it and also quite tight if we always spend our time sitting down. So if your front knee is really overshooting the foot here, it means your stance is too short. You're not creating enough room to really sink the hips into. So if that's happening, just bring your front foot further forwards just so you can gently sink the hips down. Standing up nice and tall with your spine. Trying to soften into the pose. If it is too intense, you can always rest the hands down. Remember, this is your practice. So if there's anything that feels better for you that I don't say, please do that. From here, placing your right hand on your hip, sweeping your left arm all the way up to the sky and starting to reach the left arm over to the right. You can keep your hand on your hip or you can place your right hand on the ground. Just creating length in the left side of the body once again. Keep sinking the hips down, but stay gentle. Just three more deep breaths here. And slowly come back to center. Now from here, bring your hands down to the mat. Heel toe your right foot over to the left side of the mat. And then gently start to drop the knee down. Now grab your block or your pillow, whatever you have, and place it underneath the right hip. Just so you have something to sit on. 
Now, what you can play around with here, depending on your flexibility, is you can bring the heel, the right heel, closer to your groin to make it less intense in the right glute, or you can bring it more parallel with the front edge of your mat, your heel further away from the groin. Try to sit nice and tall on your right sit bone, and then gently start to reach the arms forwards. Stopping if it's too intense, coming back up if it's too tight. Returning to your breath. And with every exhale, trying to bring release into the right glute. Because everything is connected in our bodies. If we're able to successfully release any tension we're holding in the hips, in the bum, it's going to directly affect what we feel in the lower back because they're so close to each other. So just allow your body to be heavy here. Instead of engaging muscles to find a stretch, just allow gravity to do the work. The more you relax here, the heavier you become. Naturally, the more you will be able to lengthen. Just five more deep breaths. Slowly, slowly, walk your hands back towards your body. Slowly find your way back to all fours. Take your time. Just remove the block out of the way for a moment. Just taking a few breaths to allow our bodies to realign. Maybe finding a gentle sway of the hips or the shoulders. Just really tuning in right now to what you feel in your body. Any sensations. And when you're ready, stepping the left foot between the hands. A nice big step. Remember you can adjust the foot further or closer. Place your hands on your hips to start. And just gently guide your hips down and forwards. Rest your hands if you wish. Take any modification you see fit. All that we're trying to do is create length in the right hip flexors, the front of the right hip. Reversing the effect that's being done by all those hours of sitting down. Whether it's working or driving. Netflix and chill. <laughs> Whatever it is that you're doing sitting down, it is shortening the hip flexor muscles, and this is lengthening them. Breathe deep. Relax the hips. Allow them to sink. Place your left hand on your hip or on the floor. Reach the right arm up above your head. And on your next exhale, reach it over to the left. Finding length in the right side of the body. Sinking into the hips. Just a few more breaths here. And slowly come back to center. Place your hands down. 
heel toe, the left foot over to the right side of your mat. Gently, slowly drop the left knee down. Grab your prop and place it under your left hip. Bringing the floor a bit closer towards us. Sit up nice and tall on the left sit bone to start. Really ground down with the left hip. And then slowly walk the arms forwards. Coming back to your breath. Back to a place of stillness and relaxation. Breathing release. Quite a few years ago now, I actually fractured my spine at L4 or L5. So I'm not a stranger to lower back pain. I have experienced quite severe pain in my lower back, which eventually led to me finding yoga because I was just way too over being in so much pain. So if right now you are experiencing a lot of tightness, a lot of discomfort, Really try to focus on whether this is bearable for you or not. If this is unbearable and you're clenching the muscles, you're scrunching the face and back off a little bit. You want to be chilling out at a place where you're feeling a broad, deep stretch, but it's bearable. You're still able to relax here. So a lot of these stretches that we're doing today poses that really helped with my recovery of self-healing, moving from a place of pain to a feeling of strength and flexibility in my lower back. It is possible. It can be a long journey for some of us, but it is definitely possible. Just a few more breaths here. Slowly, slowly walk the hands back towards you. From here, remove the prop from underneath your left hip. Sit yourself down onto your left side and swing the right foot all the way over the top of the left thigh. Pull your left heel in towards your right hip and ground down with both sit bones. So make sure the right sit bone is grounding down. Now place your fingertips behind you, your right fingertips. Sweep the left arm all the way up. Find length through the spine. Keep that length in the spine and slowly bring the elbow to the outside of the right thigh and twist to the right. Beautiful spinal twist, creating a bit of mobility in the spine, but also bringing a beautiful stretch to the IT band which travels along the outside of the thigh. Just a few more deep breaths. Keep opening the right shoulder back. Take your gaze over the right shoulder so you're finding a twist even in the upper spine. And slowly release to center. Switching legs now. So your left foot comes over the top of the right thigh. The right heel in towards your left hip. Ground down with both sit bones, especially the left. Place the left fingertips behind you. Sweep the right arm up. Reach through the right arm. Find length in the spine. Keep that length as you come into your twist. Imagine every inhale you're growing taller through the spine. Every exhale, just gently going a little deeper. Open the left shoulder. Take your gaze over the left shoulder. Just a few more breaths. And 
gently come back to centre. Place your feet flat on the mat. Roll yourself down onto your back. Just bring your feet to a spot where you can just tickle the heels with your fingertips. That should be around about the area of your heels being directly underneath the knees. Now relax the shoulders and the head as best you can. And just start to push through the heels to lift your hips up for a gentle bridge pose. So we are using a bit of muscle engagement here. Pushing the hips nice and high. Keeping the chin away from the chest, but allowing the chest to open too. Keeping the knees at hip width distance. Relaxing the face. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale to release the hips back down to the mat. Now from here, fold your right leg over the top of the left. So the back of the right thigh is resting on the top of the left thigh. Now heel toe your left foot all the way over to the right side of your mat. And then just gently allow the knees to fall to the left. Adjust the hips if you want to go a little deeper by rolling onto the left hip. Maybe even taking a gaze to the right. Allowing this to be a passive twist. Allow the legs to be heavy. The arms to rest wherever you wish. Gently bringing legs back to center. Uncross the legs, adjust the hips if you need to. And now fold the left leg, left thigh over the top of the right thigh. As you would cross your legs if you're sitting in a chair. Which is the reason why some of us are here. Now heel toe your right foot over to the left side of the mat. If you do want to go deeper, you can lift the hips and roll onto your right hip. But all of us just gently dropping the knees to the right. Maybe taking the gaze to the left. Allowing this to be a passive stretch, which means we relax the muscles of the body. There's no effort involved. Slowly bring your legs back to centre. Walk the legs nice and long, coming into our final Shavasana. So allow the legs to fall open, allow the palms to face up. Close down the eyes. And just take a moment out of your day to really relax here, to soften the body as best you can. To appreciate the fact that you're working towards self-healing, relieving any discomfort you're experiencing in the lower back, which can be very debilitating. So just appreciate that you've come here today to fix yourself, to return yourself back to a pain-free body. Carry with you this sense of relaxation into the rest of the day or night. Namaste.